must protect the one. Victory or death! Well, that very war axe made this hand a lot better. Impressive. The fairy. What the? The fairy and deathwing baron get in wild to grow. Wow. Astonishing. Here we go. Wow! Eight. <sighs> Seven, eight. Seven, eleven. Yeah. One? Two. I just need him to whiff on a few cards. Well, the innervate, perhaps. Just a whiff. That's pretty tough, yeah. Face! Ragnaros to give me a few, uh, face slaps. Bad draw, but not that bad. It's four mana draw a card, which is bad considering most of his cards in this. No wow! Oh. There, face. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Still win, though. Healing touch? Why would you put healing touch in the Nestor Convenient deck? Sometimes you top deck healing touch when you're. Oh, the top deck seems to divorce and Ragnaros and uh, Sylvanas and then the healing touch. I am the sad man. Well played. I'm sad. Pretty good. By him. There we go. Trade quests. None of them are warrior, so all of them are worthless. In Asia, you can't switch any of the quests. Maybe it's because I have rogue locked. Still. Eh, it doesn't matter that I'm not getting any gold, whatever. Okay, today finally continues the free-to-play run. Uh, let's get to it with the warrior. R. Oh man! First game back in a while and it's up against the Rogue. Will this finally be the win required to unlock all the classes at long last? Or will I fail against the Rogue? We'll see. Fun fact for those who didn't know, uh, a extensive study was conducted on Fire War Axe, and if you play it on turn 2, your win rate goes up by about 10% in most warrior decks. This has been your fun fact. I mean, 10% is a lot. Not that big a surprise since Fire War Axe is really good. Hmm, looks like I'm going to try to hold that Fire War Axe. I mean, it's a little different when you have that Mizos first mate, though, yeah? Hey, hey, do you want to buy a funnel cake? Oh, 
Yeah, rusty hook. Don't worry, my win rate didn't drop by 10%, because my play was better than playing the Fiery War Axe. Which only happens if you have the boss first mate, really. There's a smart play. Hey, you wanna buy a funnel cake? No, funnel cake. Uh, play the one that was sapped. Don't give away any info. Mark. damage, whatever. My APM wasn't high enough to swing with the axe before the hook replaced it. That's the last time I swing at a minion. That guy was a little bit iffy. Spending 5 damage on that 3 4. It could be at 6, but that 3 4 would then just kill the 5 3, and then I would miss 5 damage next turn. But, you know, I could have the kill for this card. Maybe I need to hit face. I probably did. And this is why I never went against Rogue. And I missed 2 damage earlier. It turns out I'm actually going to end up missing uh, 3 damage instead of 2 damage. So many wonderful poisons. My shield for Argus. Mm. Cursed to never win against Rogue. If I had done the extra 3 damage to face, he'd be at 5, and then if I had sent the weapon to the face, that would be another 5. So I don't think I had enough time to uh, necessarily get all of the map. Well, the rogue remains unbeaten. That's okay. Planned anyways, maybe? Oh, this hand is way too heavy. Got all of the heaviest cards in my deck. When I played against the Maws and I built a 1 and 2 drop deck, I was thinking about this deck pretty much. This deck was the inspiration. And then I realized during the game how important those 3 and 4 drops were in this deck. And the lesson was learned. It's getting hot in here. My blade be thirsty. Got the hard counter to the two four, the four three charge. Am I on perma hit face yet? No. He's been playing some 
cards that indicate that he's not control. But we don't only hit face yet. Yet. I'll play the slow card here instead of the fast card. It's 18 damage there, but better to... Yeah, do I ignore the slime and just go face? Nah. I'm only missing 2 damage, because that goes face. Okay, and then... And then I was gonna reap him. Hey, a fiery war axe in my opening hand. That means, statistically, my win rate has gone up by 10%. Always lucky? Kind of. Wow. It's okay. There's, that Savannah High Main uh, should be a worthless card in this matchup. If it isn't a worthless card, it means I've lost. That second War Axe is actually doing pretty well here, too. Hmm, the bats. Pretty fancy. With three weapons, I'm able to use all three weapons to max uh, by turn five. I mean, by turn six. By turn seven. With an upgrade, too. Now, swing on turn five. No, no, six, seven, eight will be Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. <laughs> Hitting my face. How pointless. It should be your face that you're concerned about. Where's your Savannah high main now? It's way too slow. Eighteen! That's lethal! Oh, six mana, six five. <laughs> oh, what a bad card. That is actually a weakness to Savannah High Man. It is only a six mana, six five. The turn you play it. Oh, it's a rogue! You know... I still don't have my rogue win, and that's surprising because aggressive decks tend to do well against the slower combo rogues. Either this deck isn't doing it, or I'm not going face enough, or... Variants, or something. Or maybe this matchup just isn't good, like I initially thought it might be. Could have done upgrade uh, Bloodstill Raider there instead. But I'm going to save the upgrade for this Reaper. Which I would probably be coining out. Hmm.
If he plays a Tomb Pillager, I believe I'll Reaper the Pillager. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'll Reaper the Pillager. Or I could Axe Upgrade the Pillager. Or I could Axe Blood to Icarate. That makes the most sense. Given that it doesn't overkill damage and doesn't bend the coin or an upgrade. And it gets the 2 2 out. But I have uh, the 18 damage with the Reaper upgrade. I just need to do 5. My eyes need to do 8. The Brotherhood shall come <clears throat> I think I know what to do. That's too many turns though. Kind of. But I have a lot of damage, but I need four turns. Looks like I need three damage. Or I need to survive an extra turn. But the witch seemed possible since he's only hitting me for six. Was that in Van Cleef? Is this the win against Rogue? Is Rogue too slow? Am I going to get ruined by my draw? In doubt. Blood. And blood. I can play every card. I'm going to hold the Reaper. Any card I draw. Is this the run? Valir it down? Hmm, we could have cold blooded last turn. Maybe he'd have won. Because he missed four. Valira down! We did it! We unlocked all the classes! Now we're ready to go. Wow! Means I can do an arena? Does that mean I can replace the quest now? No? Do you not replace quests in Asia or something? I don't get it. Anyway, since I don't need any more gold, since this is the final version of the deck, I'm just gonna keep hoarding that. Not do an arena with this account. I would do it on my main account. I don't know if that'll truly clean out the taste though. Hmm, no axe. Did I lose? I feel like I need the coin to coin out the Reaper on four. With this bad a hand. It wouldn't be fixed by coining out Flame Juggler. Beat. 
There's no comeback mechanisms in this deck. So it's pretty rough. I mean, at least I drew a 3-drop. Deck has to be ahead from the start. Or have done massive damage. Hmm. Maybe there's this glimmer of hope. Oh! That's a massive tempo turn. A glimmer of hope. Kind of a catch up. I think here's where I transition into full face. Buying or selling. Hmm. <laughs> I changed my mind on full face. I have to control the board hard, otherwise I'll never win. Ooh, kind of despair. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Get out. The weapons aren't fast enough to kill the opponent. One one to face? No trade into two one? I don't want this guy to get punished for his sins. Oh, I actually have board control now. Because he thinks he's a face deck or something. Three, four, five. Two, six, nine. It's worth a. Uh, two, three, four. F it's worth so that he can't tap out of it. I mean, so he can't tap. The zoo needs to know his place. He was supposed to be playing the control deck here. He just gained control of the board. He can kill me eventually. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, there's no justice, he's still going to win. No, not always. Man, my juggler though. Come on, justice, justice, JUSTICE! Actually, should whack him because shield slam is a card. No armor for you. Fine, so execute. I think that's appropriate of a response. Toasty! Avast! Rooster! Ogre! Baby! 
This is gonna be a tough to win from here. Is it because I'm despairing since I drew Execute? Execute is so bad here. deal 8 damage, 4 to his face, and then 3 to that minion, so 7 damage. Welcome to the grand tournament. Oh, the master cheater herself. You can't get away with this. can't let him get away with this. To be fair though, that is uh, 8 mana gain 4 armor, uh, given the pace of this game. So that card was actually quite bad there. It does mean I have to win rather fast. It's a good thing that Corcron Elite is a good card. Ah! Eh? Eh. Oops. Oh. The armor doesn't matter at all. Since he's gaining 4 a turn, they have to keep control of the board so my guards can do stuff to him. Do damage. Do you have the artifact? This is why Finley is so good in this deck. It's at this point where Finley, even though it's one mana card, would be really useful. This is, this is so pointless. <sighs> so seven. I don't think I can ever uh, actually beat this armor up. Is it seven? No. If he only gains four this turn, then Heroic Strike or Mortal Strike will win. Chansu! Chance! Yes! Woo! It's all sorts of bitterness when he uses that bitterness. Mmm, the sweet bitterness. <laughs> I must protect the one. Victory or death. I think I'll go upgrade into Raider. I would rather not. Uh, flame Juggler and a Coin Weaponsmith. Uh, that might be better. That's interesting. So I can either go with the slow play, which is playing the Weapon Smith, and then the next turn I play Upgrade Dread Corsair Raider, or I can go with the fast play. The slow play is the better one. And hold the weapon, since the weapon will deal an additional... Uh, one damage? And it could be used on minions. Hm, his hand kind of came together. The opponent doing nothing helps. I think he's gonna stop doing nothing soon there. Hmm, this hand though. So hot. This board. So hot. Pay attention, class. I am ready to learn. I am ready to learn. Is the teacher an important enough target to kill? 
Also, I got Berserker. Just use the swipe. I have a taunt. Kind of tough to get through to the Berserker. Yeah, I can do 2 5, two, five 8, 11, 15 damage to face. Set him down to 9. Isn't that better? I guess that's better. I was gonna do Berserker in trades, but. That's a lot of damage. Berserker are too slow. Is Fandral Staghelm a big enough deal to kill? Or is it all about the face still? I think it's still all about the face. Yep. Eh, don't leave any of those very important minions alone. Don't kill them, I mean. Just face. Okay. Well, I win with the Zoth's first note. Alright, well, I need to take damage very quickly. So I can mortal strike him and kill him. Was that lethal? No! I'd go down to 13. Well, the good news is, there's not a lot of uh, health gain in that deck. If I play the Berserker, he'll almost always still... Yeah, he's gotta race me, so I have to... Yeah, that'll Silly druid. You think you're ahead. A mortal strike. We'll get you. You think you're so safe. You think your fan will stack up and your violet teacher are so valuable. You didn't even play around if I didn't have a weapon. Should have set me at 13. Here, let me make him feel bad. He's like, oh, if only I had set him at 13 instead. But sometimes you can be him by not playing cards. 